one, you down. Probably because there's another boat coming up. Right, so there's the little bookstore that Chris was talking about earlier. So she's going to sort some books out now. And this is the rather large and impressive church of St James the Great here at Aldham. And hopefully we're going to be ringing there tomorrow night. Hello and welcome to Life on Board Amy Jo. And you find us at the top lock at Audlem. Yes, that's right, we're not at the bottom of the Shropshire where we left you last time. We have in fact spent several weeks travelling up the Shropshire Union, but we haven't filmed it because we've, you, we've filmed it in previous vlogs. And if you've been watching our channel for some time, you will have already seen the section we've covered. So in this episode, we're going to continue down the Audlem locks and more up just above the Shroppy Fly pub. You'll notice on the right, just before the, the house, a large white box. This is known as an honesty box, and for the viewers overseas, basically the owner of the house leaves produce in the box with a cash box, and boaters can come along and take the produce and put the money in the cash box. In this instance, they do really nice pork pies, sausages, steak and kidney pies, etc. And they have a freezer, a fridge with ice cream in, and another little fridge with cans of soft drinks. It's well worth a visit if you're ever stopping up this lock. Aldham locks are a flight of 15 locks. There are some visitor moorings between locks 10 and 11 and 13 and 14. We are only going down the first 11 locks and mooring up at the visitor moorings below lock 11. It is Charles, yes. I wasn't quite sure how to video us descending the 11 locks so we've sped it up and did a time lapse so that we don't take all day and make it slow. Well good morning everyone and uh, we're starting our descent now of the Aldlam locks. We've um, done the first one this is lock two of 15, although we're only going to do 12 today, hopefully, if we can get a mooring further down. Possibly outside the Shroppy Fly, I don't know. We'll see how the moorings are. But uh, enjoy the cruise. As I say, there are another 11 of these to do, so enjoy.
no mames. No. <laughs> I'll walk around. Ugh. I tried. Do these now, Chris. Right. Yeah, go on. You go. On. Probably because there's another boat coming up. But they're too far down for now. I won't shut them just yet. Basically, there's a boat ahead of us that's going down in front of us, which is why we're having to reset all the locks. And the couple that are on the boat ahead have shouted something about leave the gates. So we think there might be a boat on its way up. So Chris has gone to investigate. I'm just going to hover here in the lock gate hole. And if there's a boat coming up, I'll leave the gates open. If not, I'll shut them. But I don't know if you can see on these lock gates, I'll turn the camera for you. There the camera going up. But you'll notice on the lock beam, just about here, there's a block of wood. 
if you can see that there are, that's a bit better now and that's designed for boaters to put their poles on to shut the gates so I'll show you when Chris is, uh, lets me know what's going on
Finally, we locked through lock 11 and found to our delight that the moorings were vacant, so we pulled in for the night. So, we've been moored here at Aldham and uh, one of the things that we have to sort out while we're um, going along is our prescriptions. Yeah. So, Chris is due a prescription, she's ordered her uh, ordered medication. Ordered online on Monday yep. and got a message through saying that it's been approved by the GP and collect from the pharmacy. So that's where we're off to now. Yeah, so, and Aldham is lovely because it's got um a little like bookcase and you can just swap books over so i've got my books with me in my bag and i'll go and swap some books and it's like a little library for voters i think yeah great so you, idea it is you can come along with us we'll yeah. have a look at the village eh? come and have a look at the village it's lovely <laughs> just one of the many fields that you can walk the dog in this is the village playground I think because there's swings and what have you for the kids over there and that's the village hall it's quite a modern walk. building yeah dog walk in that corner and then there? down the far end I don't know if you can see it Let's see if I can zoom in where that white sign is down through there is a dog walk specifically for dog exercise so they really cater for everyone here like I say this is the Community, community centre or village hall. Yeah. Be giving them a try tomorrow night, I think. <laughs> Chippy night. So there's the little bookstore that Chris was talking about earlier. So she's going to sort some books out now. Yeah, I've got two to put back. And then I can... Ooh, it's got, it's if you can find a hole for them. <laughs> <laughs> They'll squeeze in there. Then I can... I haven't got that one. I haven't had that one. See, so I've put two away, so I'll take two. You have to excuse the traffic noise, folks. It's, it might be a little village, but it's certainly a busy road. That's it. So there you go. Now, you'll find these, for the overseas viewers, you'll find these little bookstores in all sorts of places up and down the canals. And you can exchange your books wherever we go. There's, there's these little stores. Because the library's not any good. Because the library's no good, because you can't take the library books back, can you? No. And this is the rather large and impressive church of St. James the Great here at Aldham. And hopefully we're going to be ringing there tomorrow night. So uh, yeah. that'll be fun. Thursday night. Thursday nights, yeah. And this is probably what you would call the town centre with the war memorial in the middle there. 
All the Union Jacks are out, obviously, because of the King's coronation, which isn't that far away now on the 6th of May. Oldham lies approximately 7 miles or 11 kilometres south of Nantwich and is close to the border with the neighbouring county of Shropshire. The village is 8 miles 13 kilometres east of Whitchurch and 7 miles 11 kilometres north of Market Drayton. According to the 2001 census, the population of the entire civil parish was 1,790 souls, increasing to 1,991 at the 2011 census. Well, the village is certainly embracing the coronation at the moment. Now there was, on that wooden box, a lovely waistcoat with the Union flag, and here it comes. <laughs> Look at that. And that's another successful Sainsbury's delivery done. The drivers from Sainsbury's are so cheerful. Well, everyone we've had so far has been really cheerful. And uh, we've got a faithful trolley out today. As the bags are quite heavy. And no, I haven't got all bottles of wine. I've only got one bottle of wine this time. I don't know why it's so heavy. each time it's a different location different drivers great fun does it feel heavy pulling it steve <laughs> you're not going uphill today though <laughs> we'll continue our stay at Audlem in the next vlog so thanks for watching for now but before we go, I just need to make a special shout out to Adrian Wade, who has now joined our Patreon crew. Thanks very much, Adrian. We appreciate your support.